The time has come, hey enchanters, as promised. We're gonna do a full tour of the entire home from the outside and the inside. I'm gonna share with you things I wanna add for next year and uh, just take you on. So as you can see, we have our fog machine going there. We're gonna get a little closer now to everything. Um, oh, I'm so excited to share this with you all. So let's go ahead and start. So we have a lot of our tombstones are all over the front patio. Our orange tree here. And they're different sized tombstones. And this is our orange tree with our little ghoul there and some skeletons hanging from there. We have a bat right over here. Then we have this inflatable here. Followed by our purple tree. And here we have this creepy looking clown and another ghoul who's enslaved, I guess, and hanging from the tree. Here we have one of my favorites. I forget his name. We had had one Disney inflatable, right? <laughs> so there's Jack Skellington. Doesn't really go with the aesthetic. He's the nightmare something, I forget his name. So here we have our bush with the red lights, our Jack Skellington, as mentioned a little earlier. Doesn't go with the aesthetic, but just have him up this year. Next year when we go a little bigger, he's probably not going to make the cut. So we have our tombstones, our bush, our glow-in-the-dark cobwebs, our willow tree, and Medusa. We're going to take you inside as well. I mean, she's just absolutely amazing. She's painted with the glow-in-the-dark uh, glow light uh, paint as well. And then here, I have this beauty right here. So incredibly covered. By the way, from Spirit, also from Spirit. I got this about three years ago. <laughs> if you notice his eyes glow and his teeth. I painted it with black light paint, that blood splatter. And he just has this grimming laugh. He stands at about, I like to say close to seven feet. And the Nightmare Harvester, that's his name. Uh, he stands at about close to almost eight feet. He's a little tall. He's, yeah, he's about eight feet tall. We have our tombstones, and we have, I've blocked my black lights right behind them, so I absolutely love that. Now they're concealed. And then here we have our clown. Also got this from Spirit a few years ago. He's, his mouth was painted, all the blood around his lips was painted. His tongue, as you could see, his nose, his eyes, his nails, and then... We've also added his chains here. That black light again is just absolutely beautiful. I love that you can capture it on video as well. It looks incredible. We've added some chains around here too. And then we have, from the Home Depot I got this years ago, it's this arch, this light up, it's like this LED purple and orange arch, which is absolutely gorgeous. As we move along here, we have more tombstones here, our black lights, another tree with our black light reflectors. This is a candy corn bush, so it's these candy corn lights. They're two-tone white and uh, they're like a lighter yellow and orange, all infested with cobwebs. And then here we have more chains and another skeleton. 
Now these lights are flickering red lights, but the thing is when I turn them on, it turns on the overhead light there and it kind of takes away the illusion, so I gotta figure that out. Here we have the very first piece I showed, my very first sneak peek, which is our witch. And again, it's that reflection of the light there. She looks incredible. And then right above on that window, we have the ghoul. He's like a goblin or a zombie. He looks amazing now. Um, I just, it's so challenging. Next year, what we want to do is we want to hang another one right above that window right there. It's just very challenging to get there because <laughs> you just need a long ladder and that's going to be challenging. So we're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> And then here next year, I want to definitely do something here. I want to get something that we can decorate this whole area right here. So we'll do that for next year. And then off to the side of the house, we have another tombstone, another ghost there with a chain. A little subtle, giving some love to this side as well. We have another little cute inflatable again. That's probably going to leave next year. We're not going to have that. Um, I definitely wanted to get a lot of those large, large, large um, Home Depot, um, like 12 foot tall uh, pieces. I think they would look amazing. But that's the home from this side. And now let's take you towards the entrance and let's go inside as well because we have some other fun stuff. Definitely want to add like zombie animatronics here next year. Little by little. So one of my favorite parts here is this wreath. How beautiful is this? Well, let's not ignore him. Motion censored. <laughs> That's incredible. We have these bats. Also with the LED with the glow with the black light paint. You can see them. They look incredible. And then we come to our wreath, which I absolutely love, these flame flicker lights. It's a gorgeous wreath. It goes with the aesthetic. And we have this beauty over here. That's going to be fun for Halloween. <laughs> now let's take y'all inside. And we are indoors. So as you walk in, um, I mean, there's so much to take in. So everything is painted in black lights. So it'd be ideal for a party this year. So let's walk in first. Uh, so here we have this picture frame. I've had this for years. They're absolutely gorgeous. It's made of plastic, but I'm obsessed with them. Uh, right up here, this is my office space in there. And then... We have this keep out sign again. Everything is painted with black lights. We have, as you can see here, these fringe. Uh, they're like these uh, ceiling like fringes thingamajigs. I absolutely love them. So we hung them from here. I used to hang them in my store when I had my shop in Brooklyn. And, and now I've utilized them here and I absolutely love them. Right above us is this massive spider. I absolutely love this piece so much. We have the chandelier there, but we have the spider and the garland up uh, right. We I, we had that garland we created. And it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's an owl up there as well. Then we have this guy, which I absolutely love, 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 love. And it is amazing uh, it says beware enter at your own risk we have some crows up there and then as you come down we have these painted mason jars i had an event that we did and a few friends of mine painted them and i kept them and i'm so glad i did because i have them they're painted with black lights down the stairs and it looks amazing we have the bats um the spiders coming down the stairs as well and out on the window we have a few other uh props here's medusa from the inside as you can see now this bad boy right here i wanted to have him up there but i have a ladder but i just didn't muster the energy to hang him up there but we'll probably do that at the end of this year 
And then as you can come down the stairs, the railing of the stairs, we have this beautiful garland with these uh, purple and orange lights, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And these two witches that meet us here. Um, here's Crouchy. <laughs> no, we don't have two. I brought him inside. And then, and by the way, his name is Crouchy the Clown. There we go. I remember after the fact. And then over here we have this netting again, which again I've painted with black light paint. You have some fingers, this beautiful mirror, um, this bat right there. Everything is painted. Every detail is painted. I've painted myself. And when you remove the black light, it looks really natural as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, here we have the Ouija board. No, we do not play with it. It just is there. It's a prop. Um, we have a crow. A bunch of cute props. Now this guy opens and closes. He's not on right now. And he pops up. He was from Spirit. And now we're going to move on. As we come here, I love this. I love these portraits. They're amazing. They're amazing. These, as you move, you get a different image. And I absolutely love this piece right here. Y'all probably have seen this before, but... Then here is our coat closet, and we have this prop, which I bought a long time ago. It hangs by the door, and all the skeletons have also been black. They're all painted with black light. As we come here, um, we have this rat here. He's adorable. His name is Fievel. <laughs> and we have this netting, and again, the netting, it's all black light painted. So are the mirrors here. And all of uh, what I did with these, I did these a while ago. I have to mix them. Um, you can get warm, warm water with the black light paint, and the test tubes all glow in the dark as well. How cute is that? And then we have this is actually a flame right here. It's like a it's a flame light. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love that. Here we have some more. And then again, I love these. I got these at uh, Spencer's years ago and they were like 50% off and they don't make these anymore. I mean, they're just gorgeous. I have a total of five of these. So I had to display them. Here's the first floor restroom. I have one of those up there and another over here in one of the spare bedrooms. And then here we have another one. Awesome. So let's take you into the living room. Awesome. So as we come into the living room, we have our spooky town by Lemax Village set. And again, we have another one of those um, mirror candelabras, the mummy portrait. And we have this Grim Reaper portrait as well with another one here. And again, you've seen my previous video. If you want to see a more immersive video of all of these, uh, this is the carnival display this year of our Lemax by Spooky Town. And again, you have this beautiful netting underneath as well, creating that spooky effect. All right. So as you can see here, I added those, those fringes as well. They're up on the second floor over the railing. The kitchen doesn't have anything. We got to keep the crazy in one section, right? <laughs> so here we have these. There are these green lights. They look amazing. So we put them on these lampshades here. And there's props everywhere. And on the other side, we have this black netting. Same thing with the glow in the dark paint. Again, makes it's ideal for a Halloween get together. I love this piece. I got this from Target. I absolutely love her. I'm not sure if her batteries are working, uh, let alone if I can find her plug, but I absolutely love this piece. Oh yeah, she is working. 
She looks amazing. Here we have this other pumpkin, he, this pumpkin ghoul. He, his batteries I know don't work, but his face lights up. I didn't put batteries on him this year. He's also from Target. I got him a few years back. And last but certainly not least, we have this one. She's hella creepy. Uh, she doesn't have batteries either. And there she is. Kept these by the window. Now here by the fireplace, we have this beautiful garland we made with red and purple LED lights. And then, we have this this netting. So we have this massive netting here. This is ideally for a ceiling, but we put it on this mantle. And we got some candies there, some spell potions, another mirror some curse books, portraits. It's just freaking adorable. <laughs> and over here on this one, because I haven't shown you, I have not shown you all this one. We have this as well. And again, I hand painted all of this. It makes again a world of difference. Following that, we have the ceiling. <laughs> so right above here, that's where you, that's my collector's room up there. Uh, we have this beautiful garland there. Give me a moment as I position this black light a little closer. All right. So that beautiful garland there and again that knitting as well. We're almost done with the tour. Here we have the additional spooky... Uh, um, the Spooky Town by Lemax Village set. Again, you know, I posted a video already up on YouTube. You can go check that out. And then right above as well, we have another candelabra candlestick. And we have this guy up here. And last but certainly not least, we have this little area here. Again, we use that netting and that neon light here. We have a spooky typewriter with the, um, we use the spider glue gun on this, a witch's bowl. We have another crow in a nest here. We have another one of these and we got this guy right here. And we have another one of those over there. And that's it. That wraps up the house tour. I really hope you all enjoyed it. This is our first time decorating here. And we know we did. It was a little subtle. Many would disagree. <laughs> but stay tuned for next year. I can't wait for that tour. Um, and especially outside. I'm so excited to bring you all more content. And again, get excited for Halloween. I mean, for Christmas. Because I'm, I mean... I love Halloween, but wait till you see our Christmas trees this year. They're going to be amazing. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and connect with us at Enchanting Unboxing for more content. Uh, there's giveaways as well, uh, and it means the world when you share this around as well. So stay amazing, stay blessed, and until the next one, over and out.